Oh snap, yeah boy, we got him. What up? It's your boy's eye, and today, by the title of this video and by the color of this box, you already know what's about to go down. Yes, we got him. It was low key hard to get this shoe. I ain't even finna front. You don't know. This shoe didn't release at no foot locker, no champs, no foot action. No finish line, no nothing. I mean, the only local spots that was around me was skate shops. And the thing is about the skate shops, only some skate shops got them, not all skate shops got them. And the release style of the shoe was a little bit off. It was cop day, you know what I mean? It wasn't no in-store raffles where I was. It wasn't no first come, first serve where I was. But you know, if it was a first come, first serve, uh, yeah call the ambulance. This shoe is probably going to be like one of the hottest shoes of the year. I wouldn't say it's the hottest. It's going to be one of the hottest shoes that released for 2020. And how I got this shoe, I actually had to end up paying resale. I know we failed for the first time. Usually everything that we do on this channel is retail, but I had to come up out of my pocket for the resale. It's the only time this is going to happen, okay? Try to get it myself, but I mean, how, how can you fight a raffle? How can you fight like an entry of 8,000 people versus just me, just one. Like, I couldn't take Noel, I had to get him. We got a size 10 right here. Usually SB prices would be about $100 flat because this is Travis Scott edition of the SB. It's marketed up $50 more, so retail is actually 150. My tax plus subtotal came out to be about like 164 for the retail. But enough of my talking, let's get right into the unboxing of the shoe. I just wanna know that before we get into the unboxing of the shoe, the Travis Scott shoe comes in actually two boxes. There's two editions to the shoe. This is the most basic edition. It comes in this rainbow color box. We got the colors yellow, red, blue, green, and an all white Nike SB. A different style of wrapping paper. If we peel our paper back, here we go. All right, so let's get a closer look at the Travis Scott SB. From my initial and first look, I can actually say that it's actually kind of creative. It's not bad, it's kind of cool. I would say this paisley bandana style is kind of navy-ish. I think that the colors probably could have changed up to get it hotter, but let's get in more detail with the shoe. So if you take a look at the front, I wouldn't more say tan, but it's more of kind of like a beige color, a very, very light, very, very light brown. And around the lip, we have more of a paisley bandana style pattern going on. Moving to the side of the shoe, we can see that the middle of the shoe is plaid, kind of like a plaid shirt, like a plaid jacket. The lace guards are also continuing in the same pattern that the toe is. The Nike check is also black. The midsole of the shoe is not the same color as the toe. It's just a little, 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 little bit wider. I would say it's kind of like in the middle of a, a very light beige and a white color, kind of like Sal in a way. Now, if we look at the bottom of the shoe, this is more like a beige color, very, very light tan. Now, moving on to the back of the shoe, Paisley runs from the front all the way to the back and all the way around the shoe. And above the Paisley, this part that I'm touching right here is suede again. And above that, we can see the Nike heel in the back. The Nike heel is a more dark kind of tan color with the Nike being stitched in that light again, beige kind of color. Moving on to the other side of the shoe, only difference is the check is now pink on this side of the shoe. Now, if we take a look at the top of the shoe, the shoe strings are more kind of like yarnish fat laces. The color of the shoe laces are the same color as the midsole. We also have the tongue, it's beige, with the tag on the top of the shoe saying Cactus Jack. The shoe also did come with two accessories, two shoelaces being black and pink. For the insole of the shoe, it's also a paisley pattern. All right, now it's time for a look at the other shoe. If I look at them together, I can see that there's no difference between the two. The same pattern that was shown on the right shoe is also represented on the left shoe. Now it's time to look at both shoes in both my hands together. This is the front of both shoes. This is the side of both shoes. This is the back of both shoes. This is the other side of both shoes. This is the bottom of both shoes. This is the top of both shoes. All right, time for a review by yours truly. All right, so look, check me out now. Out of a one out of 10, 
I grade these shoes a 7.9 out of 10. And I know for everybody that's looking at this video right now, like, oh my God, I'm about to click off. Just wait and let me explain, please. Now an eight is above average, meaning seven being my average. It's not above an average because I don't like the color pink. It threw the shoe off, like no. Pink don't look good on everything. If he had to put pink on it, he should've just left the shoelaces, which would've been an accessory by choice if you wanted to put it in. But anyway though, that's my review on the Travis Scott's. Did y'all like it? Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, share it with a friend if you thought it was cool. I have more videos on the way, stay tuned y'all. Anyway though, it's been your boy Zai. I'm up out of here, peace.